Welcome, I hope that you are doing well. By the end of this video, you will be able to change the stem direction of the notes that you are putting into MuseScore 3. I will also include how to change stem directions for four part writing as well. Let's get started. So you will have MuseScore up and stem direction in general, it, it will be done for you uh, automatically but there are times that you will want to change a stem direction. So automatic stem direction, you will see in this one, anytime you're at, on a B, um, or a, a B or above, then the stem direction will go down. And then when you're on A or lower than an A on the treble clef, then you are gonna have the stem direction be pointing up automatically. So if you wanna change the stem direction, let's say uh, I'm on the first note and make sure you have the note selected so it turns blue. And then to change the stem direction, you go up to this uh, top uh, middle panel here where you'll see this uh, icon where it says flip direction. And you go ahead and click that. And you'll see that it changed the stem direction for the first note that I had selected. And um, so I can click it again and it will go back. Now, uh, the shortcut for flipping the stem direction, if you don't want to go ahead, click the top, is to go ahead and just press X on the keyboard. So if I press X with the note selected, it went it went down and if I press X down again it will go up so uh, those are the quickest ways to change stem direction on one note that you're inputting and so let's uh, I want to show you what happens let's say I have multiple notes and um, I'm just gonna put in a couple here so you can see the stem direction still pointing down and let's say I wanted that stem direction to point up what I do is I go ahead and select uh, one of the notes in the grouping, and then I go ahead and click that, and now both of those will go up. So that works well uh, when you're um, wanting to change stem directions for uh, multiple notes. Now let's talk about uh, four-part writing uh, stem direction as well. So uh, the uh, MuseScore software has um, you know rules that it follows for stem direction, and it, it does a pretty good job. Uh, with following the, the normal rules for stem directions. So let's say I want to get a second part in here. So right now, you go at, in the, at the top um, middle, you'll see it's on voice one. So uh, let's say I want to input notes for voice two. I go ahead and click two, and then I'm going to go ahead and put in some notes. Okay, so I want you to notice that the notes that I put in uh, that the stems point down, um, you know, on all of those notes. Now, I wanted to, let me do a different note on this last one here. And uh, let's say I was on th this uh, next measure, and I put in um, a lower note. You'll see that it flipped the uh, stem direction for the top line. And that's because when you have uh, multiple voices for four-part writing, um, or three-part writing, then you will have the stem directions on the on the top voice. They will go up most of the time, and then the the second voice they will go down. So you will see at every note that I add, no matter how high it is or low it is, the stem direction is going to go down, and that's the correct way to do the stem direction. Now let's say I want that uh, last note to um, the stem direction to go the other direction. I'll go ahead and press X, or I can um, press this button here. Now it changes stem direction. Good. And again, if you're working with parts uh, with the bass clef, you can either click on third part or you can just go ahead, if you've got them separated by clef, you can just go back to voice one and start adding notes on the bottom. It will follow the same rules. And then voice two. And you'll see that it changes the, the stem direction automatically. Um, so again, uh, this button here in the middle top, that's the main one, or you can uh, press X when you want to flip the direction of any stems that you're working on in MuseScore 3. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments section below. I'll do my best to answer those. Also, I have other MuseScore 3 tutorials on this channel. Um, I'll put links to those on this video. And if you enjoy this, please like this video and subscribe. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.